What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the Dreamy X50 Ultra. This is Dream's new flagship model and it's also the world's first robot vacuum with built-in retractable legs. I've tested a lot of robot vacuums and this is definitely one of the best ones that you can currently buy. So if you happen to be shopping for a new robot vacuum, stick around and I'll be going over everything I like and don't like about this vacuum. Taking a look at the robot itself, this is definitely a very nice looking robot. I love the black and gold theme as it really gives it a premium and luxurious look. Coming over to the Omni Station, you have these nice stripes on top, a mixture of matte and shiny gold accents. Once again, definitely a very nice and modern design. Opening up the top, this is where you have your clean and dirty water tanks. Looking inside the clean water tank, you have a built-in scale inhibitor, and this stops lime scale from entering the system. This way your lines stay clean and everything stays operating smoothly. Right here at the bottom, you just lift up where this little arrow is at, and this opens up where you have your dust collection bag, and then your detergent reservoir as well. This is a three point liter dust collection bag, which stores up to 100 days of debris. So essentially you only have to change this out about three times a year. Besides the basics I just went over, the station has a ton of different features, which I'll be going over later in the video. All right, so we'll get into all the cleaning stuff in a bit, but first I want to dive into some of the best and most unique features on this vacuum. First off, we have their innovative Pro Leap system. As you can see, the robot has two legs here and these automatically extend to help the robot cross over any obstacles. This includes sills, thresholds, and more, and the robot can even lift one or both legs depending on what it needs to cross. Definitely a very cool feature that lets this vacuum enter and clean areas where other vacuums would simply get stuck. Another feature I really like is their VersaLift navigation. Like most other robots, you have sensors on top that help the vacuum navigate and perform obstacle avoidance. But on this one, the sensors can actually retract and go inside the robot. This gives the vacuum a lower clearance to clean under furniture and other hard to reach areas. And then once it's out in the open, that's when the sensors will come back up to give you the best navigation possible. Some vacuums don't have the bump on top and that sacrifices performance, but VersaLift gives you the best of both worlds, allowing you to have low clearance while maintaining great navigation as well. When it comes to vacuuming, this is definitely one of the best performers on the market. Most robots have a suction power of 6 to 10,000 PA on average, but this one has their very impressive 20,000 PA Vormax suction. This is a very strong motor that powers through any debris very easily, and despite being a strong motor, somehow it also operates very quietly as well. Thanks to this, I can let the vacuum run throughout the day and not be disturbed by your typical loud vacuum noises. Flipping the vacuum over, you have a very unique vacuuming setup, and this is their Hyperstream Detangling Dual Brush. This is a dual brush system that has a ton of different benefits compared to a regular vacuum. First off, as you can see, the entry point is much larger than most robot vacuums, so this can pick up larger debris and pick up more in a single pass as well. Next, you have two brushes here, and they both spin in opposite directions. This way, anything that's missed by the first brush is automatically swept up and picked up by the second one. Not only is this gonna give you better single pass cleaning performance, but it also helps agitate and clean carpets a lot better as well. As you can see, this does have a brush with bristles on it and compared to a rubber brush, this is gonna clean gaps and crevices a lot better. And last but not least, this is also an anti-tangle design which automatically removes and sucks up any hairs. Sometimes companies just make random claims, but this was actually tested and certified to remove 100% of hairs up to 30 centimeters. I've been using this vacuum for about two weeks now, and as advertised, I have not seen any hairs get stuck on the roller. Up next, this also has dual flex arm technology. This allows the robot to extend both the side brush and mop pad to clean under low profile couches, irregular corners, and other hard to reach areas. Definitely another advantage that lets it clean a lot more than any other vacuum. Last but not least, taking a look at their all-in-one power dock, this thing has a ton of different features to make owning this robot a lot easier and maintenance free. First off, this cleans the mop pads with hot water and dries them with hot air as well. 
So this keeps the mop pads clean, but also prevents odors and bacteria by making sure they are properly dried. Next, it also has auto empty for dirty water and debris, auto water refilling, auto solution refilling, which mixes and distributes the cleaning solution to the robot. And to make things even easier, Dreamy also has a water hookup kit that can automatically refill and drain both water tanks for you. If all of that wasn't enough, this also has what's called their advanced ACE clean dry board system. There's a lot of self-cleaning vacuums out there, but they all have one common problem, and that's grime and moisture being on the bottom plate and having to clean it manually. But on this one, they took things to another level and made this a completely automated process as well. So how this works is the station actually cleans the bottom board with 20 high temp spray nozzles, clears out any leftover water, and then fully dries it as well to prevent any odors and bacteria. Definitely one of the many cool features that separate this robot from everything else out there. Last but not least, this robot also has voice control and supports 40 commands without an internet connection. So even if your internet is down, you'll still be able to relax and easily command the robot with your voice. Okay, Dreamy. I'm here. Start vacuuming. So taking a look at the app, this is what it looks like. On your home screen, you have your battery percentage, your start and home button, your live video button. This does have a camera in front of the vacuum. So basically you can use this as a mobile security camera. Just click that when you're away from home and you'll be able to drive it around your house and see what's going on. Good way to check up on your pets or just to see if there's anything happening in your house in general. Over here you have shortcuts and in here you can basically program different presets and settings for certain rooms so say if your kids are messy you know they're always going to drop crumbs and food on the floor you could just click clean after meals and by clicking that it'll automatically go to the kitchen and vacuum on high speed and clean with high amount of water or however you want to program that so instead of going into the settings and doing everything manually this makes it just a very quick one click button and then clicking on this here this brings you to the main settings page in the middle, you have your map. I have two different sections in my basement, so I divided it from basement one, basement two. So this way I don't gotta clean the entire thing. I could just clean whichever section I want to. Here you have your different map views. This does have regular view and 3D view. So if you had furniture and stuff here, you'd be able to see that on this very cool little 3D map here. Clicking on map editing, you have a few different things you can do in here as well. Up top, you have rename, backup, restore, delete. Then you have room partition, floor material, no-go zone slash virtual wall. So if you don't want it to clean somewhere or past certain area, you can set that up there. You have furniture, cleaning sequence, virtual threshold slash ramp, curtain, low-lying areas, and carpet. So lots of different specifications there. Coming to the bottom here, you have two different choices. You have Clean Genius and you have Custom. Clean Genius basically learns everything by itself. If an area is dirty, it'll clean more in that area. If it's clean, it won't clean that much. So based on the data it gathers, it'll do its best to keep your house clean automatically. And then if you want, you can also go to custom and that's where you can set all the settings yourself. So up top you have vacuum, mop, vac and mop, mop after vac, and then customize room cleaning. And this is where you can set personalized suction and mopping for each area individually. You have your suction power, quiet, standard, turbo, max. You have your wetness, how much you want it to mop the floor anywhere from one to 32. So lots of dialing in you can do there to get exactly how you want it. You have your mop washing frequency and you can customize that by area, by time or by room. And then at the very bottom you have your route and you can select from quick and standard. Clean settings you can select from room, all or zone. Clicking on the dock button, this lets you empty out debris, wash the pads, or dry the pads manually with these buttons. So this is going to be good if you turn it off for whatever reason. You can go ahead and click that again and resume it there. Diving into the settings, you have several different customizations here as well. You have your cleaning history, scheduled cleanup. You can set a schedule, what time, what days you want it to clean. You can also set what rooms as well. And as you can see here, you can also set up multiple schedules. And you can select which one you want depending on what's going on in your house. You have carpet settings and you can set it to only vacuum carpets, avoid carpets, ignore carpets. So if you have things in your house that look like carpets, such as rubber mats, just put ignore and it'll go over everything and not worry about carpets. 
And then you also have crossing carpets, and this is where it'll cross over the carpet without cleaning it. And it says this is recommended if you have doormats or carpets that it needs to get past. Floor cleaning settings. As I said earlier, you have auto lifting LDS. As I said earlier, it has that sensor on top that lifts and goes up and down. If you want, you could turn that off. You have collision avoidance mode where the robot will be a little extra careful to not bump into anything at all. You have auto recleaning mode. So if you set the robot to clean in clean genius mode, the robot will return to any heavily soiled areas just to go over it one more time and make sure that it's fully clean. You have auto detachment and installation of mop pads. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is the mop pads get left behind in the station. So if you set it out to vacuum, it'll leave the pads behind and just vacuum. So you're not using any mop pads at all. You don't have to worry about anything getting wet. And then if you're mopping, it'll go ahead, park in the dock, pick up the pads and then start mopping. Definitely a very cool feature and not something I've seen on any other vacuum. You have cleaning along the floor direction on and off dynamic obstacle area cleaning on and off another cool feature so say if your kid is playing in some area it'll ignore that area but record that it skipped that area finish cleaning your house and then come back to check on it and if nothing is there anymore it'll go ahead and clean that area and then return to the dock so a cool way to handle obstacle avoidance this way it's not being skipped entirely and it'll make another temp at cleaning that area you have your ai driven mop extend settings and you can turn on and off the side reach and mop extend both great features, so I would just leave those both on. And then you could have the mop extend to also clean gaps and then clean more thoroughly around furniture legs as well. So right here is an example of what that's going to do. It'll basically make that pattern to get it as close as possible around those furniture legs. And then let me show you the sample on this one so you can see what that does as well. And as you can see, it kind of swivels to clean under any areas where it physically cannot fit. And then you also have the frequency of when these extend as well. It does take a little more time for that to swivel and do what it has to do. So you can set if you want this to happen every seven days or use intelligent detection to do it when it needs to or high frequency. This one will do it every single time to get the best clean possible. You have your clearance leg settings and you have hurdle style optical crossing. And as you can see, it kind of steps over like a human almost. And then you have synchronized where it kind of just picks itself and throws itself over. The bottom one says it's recommended for threshold areas. And then the top one says it's recommended for sliding door track scenarios. Then you also have another page that's dedicated to just dock settings. So you have mop washing with detergent on or off, auto wash on or off, wash settings, set the water volume and temperature for mop washing. And you could set this to light standard or deep. And then you can have the mop temperature anywhere from normal, mild, warm, or hot. And then you also have smart washing where you don't have to mess with any of this. and It'll do all of it for you. You have auto rewashing, which will automatically clean the mop pad again if it's too dirty. You have your dry on and off for the mop pads. And you could set the mop drying time to anywhere from two to four hours. Or mute mode, which I like to see. This way you can have it drying in the night or while you're doing something and not have it disturb you. This will take longer to dry, but the benefit would be it won't be making that much noise. You have hair compression on or off, and it says after enabled, robot will automatically detect and compress hair in the dust box during cleaning. You have auto empty. You can set this from off standard, high frequency, or low frequency. You have your washboard base auto clean settings. So if you want to go ahead and perform an extra clean on the base, you can also go ahead and do that from here as well. And it says typically it'll take about 45 to 60 seconds to perform that clean for the base. Next, you have intelligent obstacle avoidance. You can set this on or off. This is the smart obstacle avoidance. Pet care, and this has pet recognition. And it says if the robot detects your pets, it will take obstacle avoidance actions more carefully during the cleaning task. The cleaning efficiency and coverage may slightly decrease. So basically, it'll be more cautious about your pet not to bump into it or anything like that. So if you have a pet, leave that on. If you don't, then go ahead and turn that off to get the best clean possible. You can even turn on pictures and this is after enabled. The pictures of the obstacles are available. So whatever was in the way, it'll take a picture of it. So if you have your pet and it gets in the way, you can snap a little picture of your pet. You have your fill light in front of the vacuum. It also has a little flashlight. So when it goes under something or in a dark area that can get automatically turned on. Again, I recommend just leaving that on as that's going to give you the best cleaning performance. Voice assistant settings, it tells you how to use it here. You say, okay, dreamy and different commands that it has vacuuming, mopping, vacuuming and mopping. And you have uh, quite a few different commands you can choose from. 
And then last but not least, you have your more functions page. Definitely a lot of settings and customizations in this app. So you have your add home screen shortcut, do not disturb, off peak charging. So if you're on hourly energy, you can set this to only charge when your electricity is cheap. Resume cleaning mode, child lock, which will lock all the buttons on the vacuum so your kid can't touch and mess with it. Remote control, basically you can move around the vacuum like a little RC car. Wi-Fi management, device management. And that's pretty much it for the app. Like I said, a very, very customizable app, but overall very well laid out and very easy to use as well. Overall, this is definitely one of the best robot vacuums on the market. It's packed with a ton of features and most importantly, it works and performs very good as well. All in all, if you happen to be shopping for a robot vacuum, I would highly, highly recommend this one here, which again is the Dreamy X50 Ultra. If you would like to purchase or get more information, I'll also have the link in the description as well. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.